what was it you said last time? The beard beard got shined down on them? Yeah. So I'd shaved mine off like prior to going and I'm glad I did because mine looked all scraggly and his is manicured top notch. Manny, Manny must have been the <laughs> Right. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen a beard so perfect? I haven't, no. <laughs> it's crazy. What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of YouTube Creatives. In this video, we're going to talk about the photo walk we did with Manny Ortiz last weekend. Yeah, the event was held at a place called Create Coffee, which is a cool little coffee shop in downtown Orlando, Florida that actually is kind of photography slash coffee. I guess the owner's big time in the photography. They have a studio set up in the back. When we get to the event, we walk in, we head to the back near that photo booth slash stage, whatever you'd call it. Dan Watson walks in the front door. Um, he's with his wife, Sally. They come on back. I say, hey man, I know you. And I didn't know his name, I, got, I must admit. I didn't know his name, but I've seen his face a million times on YouTube. So uh, right after he introduced himself to me and said hello, he said he was from Orlando area. I said, what if that's not him? What if he's right? What if it's not him? I said, well, I'm like, no, no, dude, it looks just like him. It's gotta be him. So anyways, turns out it was him. Dan was a really, really cool guy. Uh, and uh, his wife Sally was cool as well. So they were there assisting Manny and Diana for the shoot. His page is Learning Cameras. You gotta check it out. Um, once I actually went to his, I went to his Instagram after the event and honestly, I was just blown away. His images are freaking phenomenal. Uh, it's loaded with bangers, loaded. Yeah, uh, Dan's the real deal, no doubt about it. His pictures are amazing, his video's amazing. Uh, and what a cool laid back guy. I mean, you would you would never expect someone that does this caliber of work to be so humble and just, uh, yeah, just super humble, man. This guy was just really, really cool. And like I said, look, look at this feed right here. It's just, this is the exact type of work that I want to be creating. So this is very inspiring for me. You didn't post anything, Diana. You know why? Because you didn't take any pictures. That's why, but your wife did Sally. So let's go check her page out right now. Not only did she get a picture posted by Diana, Diana actually is now using that as her profile, her profile picture, icon, emoji, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, Sally, good for you, man. You deserve it though, too. I mean, look at this freaking feed. It's sick. Yours and Dan's works amazing. You guys are a powerhouse couple, no doubt about it. So let's check out this image that you took of Diana. This is the one that Diana reposted, by the way. Yeah. I'm a little jealous. Let's talk about when Manny showed up. So he shows up, the place is really quiet. People aren't really talking very much or anything. And Manny walks in the door and I just notice everybody's just real quiet. I see everybody looking, everybody sees that he's there. And I just look around the room, so I'm like, hey Manny! And uh, everybody just turns around and looks at me like I'm crazy. So I'm standing all like this. Oh, what the hell did I just do? Well, the one guy did call out icebreaker, so. Yeah, when he said icebreaker, everybody kind of, uh, the room kind of relaxed at that moment and then everybody introduces themselves to him. Um, they took as much time with each person as they as the person wanted, really. The next time I go to one of these events, I'm gonna be sure to not be worried about vlogging, take the damn camera into the place. I mean, you're amongst a bunch of creatives. They were using their phones to do it, so I should have done it. But honestly, I felt uh, not embarrassed, but certainly shy. If I'd have known it was gonna be so lax, I'd have bought a light. I'd have, I would have brought, I'd, I'd have bought the warehouse. 20 people there with lights, I think it would be a problem bringing the warehouse. Yeah, we weren't really sure what the location situation was gonna be. It didn't take long. The door opened and 10, 10 steps out the door, Manny had Diana right there on the street. He was looking at the way her shadow was casting so he could get some backlight. He actually did go through and talked about the video where he defocuses and then finds his composition. So he did that real quick, like I said, before he even got out the door. God, I wish I had an eye like that because I'm thinking there's nowhere anywhere near here that you're going to be able to get a nice backdrop. You've got you've got cars and parking lots and uh, curbs and grass and definitely uh, definitely does open your eyes and make you realize that if you especially if you have a beautiful model um, and you got some nice lighting, I think you should be able to definitely get some pictures. Yeah, definitely goes to prove that the uh, you know a pro can get good images anywhere. Uh, meeting local people is really cool. We've went back and forth uh, in the messaging with the. Uh, uh, one person that we actually met there, Chaz, he reached out to us to actually do a collaboration, go out and do some shooting together. And he's talked about getting together during the weekend. So uh, I think it was Friday and the event was Saturday. So I messaged him back and told him that we had already had plans. Come to find out, he turns around and says, well, I'm going to see Manny Ortiz. And um, that's the plans we had. So we ended up meeting Chaz. This is the picture that he posted right here. He went more of an art style, which is very cool. It's very different from what everybody else did. And he included some coffee and the coffee's popping out of the cup and whatnot. So very cool. I think it was very fitting for 
being that the, it was the coffee venue. He got a shot with uh, Diana with the, with the glasses on that she had on for only a couple minutes and he found a way to incorporate it and do something totally unique um, outside of what everyone else posted. So for that, I think that uh, this is extremely cool. All right, and with that, uh, let's check out real quick a little time lapse he did that you could see how kind of how the event went here. See how many people are bouncing around taking pictures of Diana. I mean, that's just, uh, you kind of fit your head in and you get your camera in those little holes wherever you could, whenever you could to get a shot. And, and everybody was pretty courteous and would take a couple shots and move out the way and other people try to get in there. But with so many people, you do kind of have to shoot with some elbows and heads popping into the frame. So you just crop in and other than that, it's pretty cool. I would say one thing that uh, proves, proves the level of pro that she is, is I'll bet you every single person shooting there believes at one point or another she was looking directly at their line. Not only that, her transitions between poses, it wasn't strike a pose then move strike a pose. It was like a literally poses moving throughout to the next position. A lot of micro movements going on. Right? Micro movements, yeah. yeah, I guess that's a great way to say it. But uh, pretty much if you took a picture at any given time, you're going to get a pretty solid picture of her. That was, I'd say it'd be very <laughs> difficult to get a bad picture of her, so yeah. Check out his Instagram. He, uh, he does some awesome work. Great using color and he uses a Hasselblad, so yeah. I think for most of the speed though right here, he said he was using the EOS R, um, but yeah, his pictures are awesome. Um, definitely looking forward to working with Chaz yeah. here. So let's just take a look at this. I really love the way that this image turned out with this particular filter kit on it or whatever the effects palette is here that he did. I don't know if he did it or if it was preset or whatnot, but it looks just really, really cool. His colors are awesome. So it's Chaz underscore Dylan, go check him out. That's O-N, not like ours with the E-N. Yep, Dylan, great name, man, but the spelling's off just a little bit, you know. Let me show you the photos that I took of Diana, the ones that I posted at least. This is the first picture that I actually posted here. I just love the way this picture looks. I love the, this is actually a detour sign back here behind her, and these are cars going by. But that Sigma uh, 85mm 1.4 art series lens just blows everything out in the background, so it looks awesome. I love this picture. Uh, it only got 15 likes, but then again, I don't really have anybody following me on the on the channel. So here's a shot that I took of Diana against the wall. I love the way these turned out because her cl her clothes, her her makeup, and her nail color and everything just kind of match very very well with the uh, with the wall. You see right here what I'm talking about: the color of the nails, the color of the the color of the walls, the blacks, the blues, everything there just looks really cool. All right, same thing right here. I cropped in because I had some elbows and whatnot in the shot, so. That's why I cropped in on the shot, but though I think it looks fantastic like that because it's a nice close-in shot. I really like the way this shot looks right here. I know we got a lot of it, uh, it's a little overexposed here, but I love the way her face is in shadow from her hand like that. So that's what I love about this particular image. So let's move on to the images that James posted. You decide to post yours on your page. Yeah, well, originally I wasn't going to post because my page is basically nothing but cameras, but I figured, I mean, it's Diana Ortiz. I had the opportunity to shoot her. I'm, I'm going to post them. Okay, that, that photo was actually in location one, right outside the coffee shop. That's where uh, Manny, Manny pulled Diana out right there, checked out how the backlight was hitting her hair, and started shooting. Unfortunately, I didn't have a flash, but I'm very happy with the way the light was backlighting her. Even without a flash, honestly, I, I think the image turned out pretty good. I like it a lot, man. I think it's a great image. This yellow back here that I think adds a lot to this image, this pop of yellow, is actually this, the street curve, believe it or not. So. Yeah, it's a curve. Yeah, that looks awesome, man. You did a great job on that one. I dig this one right here, too. Tell, tell us about this one. Manny pulled her over into the side of a parking lot. The the uh, background was really bad. You couldn't believe that he, you know, he was able to pull images off in, in that kind of location. It's not bad, as you can see by the photo. There's a, a palm tree or something there, but behind that's a fence that was kind of rickety. A couple boards missing from it. And, An AC uh, unit. You're always picturing paradise behind the person, so... Like I was, I was stunned actually at both the first locations. Yeah, but if you watch Manny when he looked at that location, he was more looking at the way light was casting yeah. than and he was. And I would say that his defocusing trick probably just is something I want to try to incorporate because you're not seeing it with your eyes, and maybe that's a great way to see it. And Diana actually liked your images. Actually, so did Manny Ortiz on one of them. Woo, Manny and Diana. Yeah, got lucky. Got yeah. lucky. So here is PTO Traveler, paid time off, right? Is that paid time off? Yep, paid time off. Paid time off Traveler, all right. That's PTO what I need. Traveler. I need some paid time off, so I'm uh, going to do photography. My expectations were not super high. Mm. 
You think so? Yeah, when you seen the gear that was coming out, I kind of expected everybody to be on a certain a certain level. I mean, it looked like we were at a Sony festival. You could say that, but I had great gear and still I st I have amazing gear and I still not anywhere near this level. So to me, I don't associate the gear with the quality of the out the output of your work. So I guess that's where I see that. I'm nowhere near the skill level. But he also has a gear addiction and can't help but buy it. That's true. All right, so let's check out PTO Traveler's page real quick. Let's take, well, let's just take a look at his image that he posted of Diana. It's a great image. Yep, there you go. It's once again off that, that wall right there. His, his uh, background's blown out. I dig this one a lot. Uh, PTO Traveler, does it say your name on here anywhere? Josh. All right, let's take a quick look at your grid, man. Now I see why he says Traveler in here. He looks like he uh, travels quite a bit. I would love to travel, I'm just much too busy to do it um, with what I've got going on and what, how I make a living, so. Yeah, but apparently he's doing it with paid time off. Yeah, it looks like he's definitely, he's, getting, yeah, he's getting, getting paid, I would say for sure. All right, let's move on, let's go to, uh, let's see here. Jason Cordoba Photography. Now he posted quite a few, so let's start from the first post right here. You see a lot of these are very similar because we only went to like four locations and um, Everybody was squeezing in amongst each other, but you would never know that by this picture right here. I mean, you don't see a soul. He captured a lot of background and he got her on the wall. So how he caught that one, I'm not really sure, but that's a fantastic image, I love it. I would have liked this image right here if the background were blown out a little bit more, although it's not totally necessary, but the picture of Diana, the, the way she's backlit, and it looks like looks like he got in on the flash on this one to me. Actually, a, a couple of his looks like he might've gotten in on flash. It's funny you mentioned that because I was just about to say, I wonder what he was shooting with. Let's go and take a little look at a uh, little peek at his feed right here. Once again, amazing work. I'm jealous. There's a lot of nice work on there. Yeah. Dude's work is very good. Definitely looks like he's used to a flash too. Yeah, yeah. He's got a good mixture of portrait photography and landscape in here. So I think that's kind of like where I'd probably where I'd like to find myself. You know what I mean? All right, let's go to visuals, James. Visuals by Malone. Let's take a look at the pictures he took of Diana. This one is, it's a great shot. Good pose, skin tone looks great. Uh, background's nice and blown out. I know Diana did something in her story or something with this photo right here, but once again, great photo. And she's looking right into the camera. So here you go, Visuals by Malone, man. Great work. He looks awesome. Looks like he pretty much sticks right with uh, portrait photography. Great work, man. Next up is one more time, please. This is Marcelo Sebra. Hopefully I'm saying your name properly, man, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at your feed. Take a look at the picture you took of Diana. I feel like it's this one. What do you think? Oh, by far. I really loved the way these uh, photos turned out right here, and I felt like also these were unique to what everybody else did. Uh, very unique. He posted a lot of pictures of Diana, as you can see here, and um, why not? He, took, he went ahead and took advantage of that. And, Post all on. I love the black and white photography here. It looks like it's maybe his family. I'm not sure. I'm just assuming because um, yeah, he's in, he's in the shot here with a with a couple of people. So this this is him right here in the shot. Yep. So he was very quick on the draw. Um, amazingly fast. How fast he got the first post up. <laughs> yeah. So this guy's this guy's a worker, man. So a few of the people pulled out the laptops and whatnot. It was I don't know how they did it but before we even got back home. There was had already posted images so again bring the whole warehouse these guys brought their laptops and was editing right there in the coffee shop yeah so here you go here's here's a look at his feed it's like pretty much all portraits as well good stuff next up we've got photography inspired uh, let's take a look at his image he only posted one of Diana this wall was very popular although Manny said I don't want to use that wall or something along those lines somebody called out the wall he wasn't fond he yeah. seemed very fond of it. Actually, he said this is not a this is not a location I would normally use. Yeah, while we were there, I actually didn't see the color palette working the way that you did. But once I saw your images, let's go ahead and take a look at the feed. Got a lot of automotive and automotive and portrait in here. Jonathan, great work, man. All right, and last but not least, Edwin, I'm a little jealous on this one, man. And here's why: I wanted to actually do a video. Um, a vlog style video anyways uh, of this event. Edwin did post a video on YouTube if you want to check it out. Here's his channel right here. Now, he's only got eight subscribers at the moment. I think he just put this channel up. 
So if you want to go show him some love, tell him we sent you, be appreciated. He did, if you want to see actually some behind the scenes, I, I think it's the only one other than Chaz's uh, time lapse that yeah. I've seen a, a video work there other than people doing quick uh, stories and things like that. So that was pretty cool. Let's take a look at the image that you took of Diana and uh, check this out. He says, I'm just a firefighter passionate about photography. Now we'll get back to this picture of Diana, but this guy says he's a, he's, he's a firefighter. Look at the images he's taken. I would say he's a photographer and a firefighter. Yeah, absolutely. Why no pictures of fire trucks? Oh, oh here we go. Now, now we got. Now we're getting there. You wanted it. There's your. <laughs> there's your I said fire truck, not fireman. <laughs> Come on. All right. So there you go. He's got him in there. Great page, man. Let's go and take a look at the uh, picture that you took of Diana, or you posted of Diana, I should say. Once again, taking advantage of that color palette. Yep. So I think that pretty much most people ended up really liking the colorful wall here. We don't have a lot of that in Orlando. Orlando's fairly small at this point. It's growing, but it's still fairly small in comparison to like well, the downtown Atlanta, section. Yeah, to Atlanta or New York or any of those places. Or Chicago. Exactly. Yeah, Chicago. I should have said Chicago. Oh, since it's Mania, Diana. Yeah. Anyways, what a great event. It was awesome meeting everybody that was there. Looking forward to getting out with some of you guys and taking photos, doing some videos and collaborations um, to come, I'm sure. I know this was just kind of more of a talking head, or that's all it was, was a talking head video, but uh, it was a great event. We had a great time. I just felt like, let's share that with people. Let's encourage uh, any of the people that watch us or that are interested. If you have doubts about getting out and meeting other people, do not hesitate. I had a great time doing it. A lot more fun than really than what I thought I would have. And uh, it was easier talking to people and, and meeting people than I thought it would be. Yeah, it was far, far, far better than what I imagined it was going to be. It ended up being the highlight of the year so far. We are in. <laughs> we are in January, uh, man. It, yeah. was, it was the highlight of the year so far. It was. So. No, it was a wonderful time. Yep. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Um, if you'd like to help the channel out, hit that like button, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Other than that, do us a favor, watch one of these two videos right here. <laughs> Sorry, and we'll guys. see you guys next time.